hi. Um, I don't ever know what to say when I'm like, hi. This feels funny, but we're gonna try this out, okay? Um, a lot of you are just wanting to see live action with me cooking and showing you our recipe, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. So we're gonna start trying this. A lot of you guys said you wanted this at 10 a.m., so we're just gonna go with it. And I don't know, ask questions along the way with whatever you have, but this is gonna be a really fast, fast live. Um, this is a really fast recipe. I know I tell you that a lot, but I'm trying to prove to you that a lot of our meals are fast. Um, so for the working moms, the moms that are tired, you can make this stuff and have time. Um, let me know if somebody can see me. Um, when Okay, so when I do these lives, this is on our Instagram account. And so when I repost this on our Facebook, they're pretty confused because they're like, hi, we see you. So I need to start doing some Facebook lives, but our Facebook needs to start joining our Instagram so that we can... Um, just all do this together. <laughs> okay, um, and let, you can see me, looks great. Okay, so we're doing the chicken fajita soup. Like I said this morning, this is super low in fat. It reminds me a lot of the um, Cafe Rio, kind of like their tortilla soup a little bit. We have another one that seems like this, but it kind of just reminds me of that. It's a really good, just on a cold day, healthy, um, warm soup. So we're gonna get started and let me know if anybody wants to see the baguettes again today or the Italian bread. I need to start showing uh, the beer artisan bread that we do because that is so easy but people are intimidated by that as well. So let's get going really fast just to show you. So I have everything basically prepared so we're gonna try to come over here Ask along the way, like I said. I finally got a tripod, so I think this is gonna save us. This is in the first cookbook, by the way, on page 52, fajita soup. Um, my sister-in-law actually made this for lunch one time, and then we became obsessed with this recipe. And um, anyways, I when I first moved here to Denver, so that was probably two years ago, I was hosting a lunch probably three to four times a week. Like I was trying to get to know people and get all these friends. And I was literally having so many girls over and I was cooking all these fun lunches and I just think it's so fun. And so this is a really good, uh, if you wanna have friends over for like a lunch, this is a really great recipe, but it's so yummy for dinner too. Uh, Somebody said, I want to see the baguettes again and talk about the pan. Okay, okay, we'll do it. Okay, so I told you that I have a Staub and I have a Le Creuset. Um, My Staub is a little bit small, so sometimes I can't cook like everything I want to cook in this, but I love it. Like, I love the Staub. But this has been, look at my really worn Le Creuset. I mean, this is like really used but I love this and there's a Le Creuset outlet so that's something to invest into and I know they sell these at home goods but if you don't have a cast iron pot this is definitely something you need to invest in for sure um sorry what did somebody say do your kids eat this soup yes now I have my kids are only seven five and three so yes, is my three-year-old a little picky? Yeah, he can be picky, but I make them try everything I make and they have to at least take a couple of bites. You're not gonna win all the time, but you can't constantly just be making what your kids are saying they want because what would that be? It would be Kraft macaroni and cheese and it would be, you know, a grilled cheese, you know? So, uh, Costco has a cast iron similar to the Le Creuset. They do? Wow. And how much is it? That's cool. Okay, so let's get started on this really fast. Let me try to put this down. I've got everything kind of prepared. Now, sometimes I don't do this, but sometimes I 
do. Like when you are trying, okay, let me just say this. If you've got a really busy day and you know you have a busy day, I would do something like this. I know this seems retarded. I mean, yes, your chicken can't be sitting out all day, but putting everything on a cookie sheet, your measurements and everything, that saves you time. So um, this is what's gonna save us. I've already chopped everything. So if you had a busy day, you could be doing everything up to this point, put just your chicken back in the fridge and you could come back to it and hurry and just whip it up because sometimes the prep is you know, what takes some of the time because this is literally going to take us like 10 minutes and then it simmers for 20. Okay, so let's get started, okay? So we've got, um, so you add, it says cut your chicken into bite-sized pieces, which we've already done. So you're gonna start getting your pan hot. So you're gonna put your chicken in the pot. I've done about two to three chicken breasts that I've cut up here. Then we're gonna add our chopped onion that's only a fourth of a cup. I like my onion chopped super fine. I don't love onion, I'm not a huge fan. So I like it really fine. And, um, and then it's like you're never getting like big massive chunks, but to each their own. Okay, and then you're gonna add a little bit of butter, okay? So this is what we're going to do until our onion is soft and our chicken starts getting, um, you know, brown, no longer pink, that's when we're done. Does anybody have questions? Is this a good angle? I'm new to all of this. I don't even know. I hope you guys even like this. We'll just keep trying it and we'll see what's going on. Um, do you sell the bound book like yours? Okay, I need to quit showing that because I know we don't sell it like that. Um, it was never allowed, let me just show you. This was never allowed because when you're selling it, um, if it was spiral bound, like at a bookstore, they can't see where the book is. You know how like the books are in like this, they wouldn't be able to see. So this is just really, really cheap. It's $2, take it to a Staples, a Kinko's, and they spiral bound it for you. And then it's, it's, yeah, it's life changing. We wish we could sell it that way, but we can't. So it's just cheap to do it after. You're so funny, we love all the likes. That's so nice. And I know some of you wanna see my mom more than me, than my face, but I promise we're gonna have just a mix of both, okay? You know, we don't live by each other. So I hope you don't mind seeing my face. I know she's the one people probably wanna see more than me. Oh, okay, gotcha, sweet. Oh, you guys are being so nice. Okay, so I'm trying to turn this up way too high. I turned this up way too high. So we're just gonna go like this. This is super fast. So while this is going, I'm gonna show you one other thing really fast. Okay, so the tomatoes, you're awesome, I love the lies. Oh, you guys are being so nice. Okay, so we add tomatoes to our soup. I don't love big chunks of tomato either. So I like to just puree it a little bit and kind of chop it up. So I am obsessed with this thing. It's called the Ninja. I just got it at Costco a couple of months ago and it comes with three different sizes of these. And then all you do is you put your chopper, um, I turned my pan up way too hot. Um, you put your chop, the chopper thing in it like this, like this. And ugh, this isn't the best angle. Let me just bring you over back here for a minute. Okay, so you put in your chopper like this and then you just put the lid on. I'm really liking this for a blender. And I've made my malts in it. I've actually been starting to make a lot of stuff in it. Let me find, ugh, why is this not going on? Of course, it's not going on when I'm trying to show you. Oh, like this. So it goes like this. And then the top goes like this. And then you just push on it and it um, chops your stuff. So I didn't make it like really fine, but I don't like massive chunks of tomatoes. So anyways, I love this thing. It's $50. 
and it comes with three different sizes, like I said, and I have mixed ice cream in it. I've made the pina coladas in it, so it can handle ice, all of that. I don't have the fancy blend tech and all that stuff. I wish I did someday, but I don't have that right now. Okay, so we're coming back to our soup. Can you even see the soup? Because it looks like you guys are in my soup picture, like the, it says when somebody joins. So, okay. So we've got the chicken going. Our onions are getting soft. Um, so it's almost no longer pink. This is going super fast. Okay. So let's see what's next. Can you, you can see it? Okay, good. Okay, so our, our chicken is basically done. That was really fast. You can get it just a little brown. It's just cut into the bite-sized pizza pieces. So now, literally, this is going to be done in like two more seconds, okay? We've got, um, okay, so now we have our chicken broth. I just bought this at Costco. This, they didn't have the one that I normally buy, but you guys, I actually really like this. I actually really like it. It's a squeezable. You know how the other ones, the chicken bouillon ones, you like go to scoop it out? I'm really liking this and I swear my mom's gravy the other day tasted so freaking good because of this. So it was, it was 10 bucks, but this is gonna last me a long time. But it's two teaspoons per uh, cup. So we need four cups of chicken broth. Can you see me? Sorry, it's kind of far away. So, so that's two cups. Just a second, sorry. It's it's a little sticky stuff. I can't see if anybody's commenting yet, sorry. Okay, their last one. So it's two, it says it's two teaspoons of this per cup. So we are now done. We are done with our chicken broth. What is somebody saying? I can't hear you. Sorry, where did you say you got the chicken broth? Oh, um, Okay, so I just got this at Costco. I've never bought this brand, but I was just saying I actually really like it. They didn't have the other one that I like. Um, and I swear, it's making stuff really taste good. I don't know. Call me crazy. Okay, so now just stir this around with our four cups of water. Oh yeah, now we're gonna add all of our chicken broth. Um, okay. Now we're gonna add, we need beef broth. We need two cups. I don't have that in the other thing. Shoot, hold on, I need two more cups of water. Hold on, sorry. Okay, we've got two cups now of this. I agree with the chicken flavor. I only use better than bouillon now and you can get it at Walmart so much better. Oh yeah, it's so much better, so much better. Yeah, you can get it at Walmart, but my Costco normally has it in the big and they, they didn't have it. So I bought this one and like I said, I really like it. But every Costco is so different. Every Costco is so different. So, okay, so I'm just gonna add these because I don't, oh, because I don't really use beef broth that much. So just add that and those cubes will melt. They don't have to melt in your water. Okay, so now we've done that. Now we're adding the tomatoes. So this was only one can of diced tomatoes and I chopped mine up a little fine. And because my kids too aren't gonna eat massive chunks of, you know. Yes, it lasts forever in the fridge. Yes, they last forever, yes. Um, the, the life on that is forever. Okay, now we're gonna add a fourth a cup of chopped green peppers. And I'm making sure I've got everything. Oh, then we're adding our chili powder. And then we're adding our cumin. And then I believe that's it. And then after, yeah, this is it. This is done. So this simmers for 20 minutes and then you're going to season it with lots of salt and pepper. 
And then let me bring those back over here. So let's, will you bring it to a boil? Can you see? We're gonna bring it to a boil and then it's gonna simmer. And then you add it, what's so yummy is you're gonna add it with um, tortilla chips. You're gonna crush up tortilla chips in your soup. You're gonna add some avocado, some cheese. I love the Tillamook cheese. I swear I cannot eat any other cheddar cheese. And I know it can be expensive, but really look for this when it goes on sale. It's the best. And then you add some like fresh lime juice or some limes. This is really good. And like I said, it's super, it's super low fat. You're done. You're done. Dinner is done. Okay. Ahem. After, like I said, add lots of salt and pepper. So by the time this soup is done, it's going to look like this. This is how you would do it. Okay, okay, so can you believe how fast that is? I told you so many of these recipes are so fast. So just kind of put it to a boil and then let it simmer. It's tasty, it is tasty. Um, my other tip is I love this Ikea cheese grater. We've been obsessed with it forever. I mean, mine is so old, I need to go get a new one, but it's like so cheap and I love this. I love this. Okay, so what are the questions? I, oh, we already did that one. We already did that one. Are those bowls from Anthro? Yes, I love them. I, I have cups from there. I love their bowls from there. They last forever. They're the cutest. They're the cutest. I have these two colors right now and then I love their cups. I love their cups. You guys always need to have these. Do you not have these? You need these, these little ceramicans. Um, some of these, you can get them anywhere. This one's from World Market. This one, I guess, is from Pier One. They're from anywhere. I use these all day, every day. I have every, I have this size. I have this size and I have this size. They're the perfect thing to put like your desserts in. All of it, it's, it's the best. You've gotta buy some, they're not that expensive. Okay, so who wants to see, I have a question. Do you go live with your phone? Yeah, <laughs> why is it bad connection? <laughs> yes, it's on my phone. Um, does it freeze well? Yeah, it does. All of these recipes can be put in the freezer. If you wanna freeze anything to then pull it out later, yes, it freezes totally well. So that is it, it's done, it's done. Today is a very fast, fast meal. Do you want to see me do French baguettes or no? Not today. Let me know. You are great, great company, so nice. Well, ask anything, we're here, but look how fast that was. Dinner's gonna be done. Dinner's done. Um, The beer bread, I don't have the beer. <laughs> I don't have beer right now to do it. Have you ever done this in a crock pot? No, I have it. I have it. Uh, okay, people are wanting baguettes. Okay, fine. Let's do it really, really fast because I'm not going to be on here all day taking your day. Okay, let's do this really fast. Let me show you. So, you need a baguette pan. I've told you this before. You need a baguette pan, okay? There's one with holes. There's some without holes. I have both. I love both. Um, this is something you need to invest in. Yes, you can do it on your cookie sheet. Um, that's really the only other way you can do it. And it's fine, it's gonna taste the same, but it's not gonna look as pretty, it's not gonna give you the true authentic look. And, um, oh, thanks. Thanks, Jenny, thanks, Jenny. Um, what were... What were the bread demo options? Oh, I was just gonna show you, I'm gonna show you our artisan beer bread, but I was just saying today I could do the, um, the Italian bread takes longer, but I guess I'm just gonna do the baguettes, right? That's what you said, baguettes. I'm just gonna show you fast. Let me get out my yeast. Everybody's okay with the baguettes, right? We're all on board with the same. Okay, so 
The baguettes are in our bread. And just so you know, the ones that are gluten-free, my mom has the gluten-free recipe in her new cookbook that you can make um, these baguettes and I, I know they turn out amazing. Okay, so you need a half a cup of water for your, your bread. This is gonna be really fast. Sorry, I gotta get my water. Okay, so you want your water, sorry, you're probably looking at a mess. I don't know what you're looking at. Okay, so you have your half a cup of water. I am the master at getting your water the perfect temperature. <laughs> I'm better than my mom, okay? I always just do it on my wrist. I act like I would be bathing a baby, whatever. It always gets the perfect temperature and my yeast is always going nuts. So I make it better than my mom. <coughs> just kidding. She's gonna love hearing that one. Okay, so we've got, we need a tablespoon. You're so funny and happy like your mama. That's so nice. <laughs> You guys are nice. Okay, so you want one tablespoon and a half. Oh, shoot, I almost put a half a teaspoon. One tablespoon and a half of yeast and one teaspoon of sugar. Not all of the recipes uh, call for sugar in your yeast, so don't always do it. If it doesn't call for it, don't just put the sugar. So then you're going to do, look. Do not go in your yeast and start stirring like crazy. You just kind of fold it in. You just kind of like stir it in, but you're kind of doing like a fold. You're not gonna just go in there and start going to town, okay? Then put a plate on top of it like this, okay? You're gonna then keep the heat inside. The yeast is gonna grow really fast. So while that's going, uh, Love your enthusiasm. This is so inspiring. You guys are so nice. I don't know what I'm doing. I've never done anything like this alive. And I'm just, I'm just trying. Um, I know I've told you 50 times, but I'm just trying to, I really am just trying to inspire you. I'm trying to get you want, wanting to cook. I know that I'm obsessed with our recipes because I know they're amazing and I love them. But yes, you can put in your own recipes in it. You know, put, mix. I know you can mix, but I just want you cooking this food because it's yummy. It's yummy, yummy, yummy. Okay, so let me bring the uh, the flour over. I mean, have, we've been going 25 minutes, okay? So Because we started at 10. Okay, so now it says you need another teaspoon of sugar in here. Another teaspoon of sugar. Uh, you have so much energy. How do you do it with a baby? Um, I don't know because you know what? I have a five month old. Okay, so I've got four kids, but I have a five month old. He is naughty. He is my worst sleeper I have ever had, but I am doing it because I am motivated. <laughs> I am motivated for you guys. And you guys have been so nice and I don't know, this has just been fun. This has become like a fun little, I don't know, I feel like I've got new friends. This just seems fun. I'm loving it. You guys are so nice. So fun. Um, but I am tired. I am tired. Okay, where did my thing go? Oh, okay. So let me wash this off really fast. But, um... But my, but you guys were so nice with my mom and everybody. It was so much fun. I miss her already. Um, she's gonna come back here. I've got some family that's actually coming to Thanksgiving back to see me. So we're gonna be um, doing Thanksgiving all together here. So she'll be back and we're gonna show more of our amazing recipes. You need to be making our stuff for Thanksgiving. You have to. There's so many good sides and everything. Okay, so two teaspoons of salt, okay? This is our amazing French salt that we keep telling you about that was a massive secret. You should be buying it. Okay, now we're going to be adding the flour. So it says two 
It says two and three fourths to one four to three and one fourth. So add always less than what it says, okay? Because um, I was gonna show you this tip that my mom was showing people in our cooking class because this is how I do it too. You know how some people take their flour like this and then you take a knife? I've seen a lot of people do it like this and then they level it with a knife like this, like that. All of my mom's stuff, like you know all our measurements, it's like two to three fourths cup. This is how we measure, okay? We literally go like this, take it in, and just kind of like shift it till it's made a cup. Does that make sense? I wanted to show you guys that because that's how we do it. So we've got two cups going here, two cups. We're gonna start with that. I know we're gonna need more, but you don't wanna add too much because you can't ever take away. I'm trying to find, I wasn't totally prepared for this. Okay, so we're gonna just do two cups right now, okay? So all it is is we have our yeast going, our sugar and salt and flour. That's it, that is it. This is so fast. Okay, now let's check our yeast. Oh my gosh, do you guys see that? See, see how great it is? It's done, it's amazing. So you add the yeast. Can you guys see this? Can you see this? Or do I need to put it down more? Okay. I don't know. Somebody tell me. Hopefully you can see that. Yes? Okay. Holy moly. Okay, this... What am I doing? And we need our one cup of water. Oh my heavens, one cup of water. I'm like, what am I doing? I guess I didn't get, I didn't get enough sleep last night. Duh, you need your one cup of warm water. The same temperature as that, that you're gonna add. And you're gonna add the whole cup. I'm like, what am I doing? I love watching cooking. It inspired me to make funyani pizza and honey white bread this weekend. So good. Yum. Yay. I love hearing that. That's why I'm doing this, you guys. I have learned from the best, I think, in the whole world. So I'm trying to show young girls, any age, get back in the kitchen. Okay, hold on. My hands are now all gross. So the cup, what was I trying to do? The cup that you add, the whole cup of water you add needs to be the same temperature when you are creating your yeast. Also, you add the full thing. I've had some of you say, well, do I not add it all? No, you always add the full cup. You're going just to add more flour. So your bread is done when it's starting to come away from the bowl, okay? So you're just gonna keep adding and working Yes, you can do this in a bread mixer. Yes, you can do this in whatever if you really want to, but it's really fast by hand and you're gonna get it the perfect consistency and not everybody has a bread maker. Not everybody has this stuff. So I just learned to do this. When I left my mom, when I left the nest and I went to college, she didn't set me up with a, a Bosch and a KitchenAid and all this stuff. And I'm like, how am I going to do it? And she's like, what are you talking about? I do it by hand. So I'm doing it by hand. So I just learned to do it by hand. Okay, so it's starting to come away from the bowl. So this is done. Okay, it's coming away. So now we're just going to knead it on our counter. So take a little bit of flour down. So see how we didn't really add, we probably added almost the full amount, but we didn't. So never add the full amount, okay? Until, um, ask any other questions too, you guys. This is why I'm doing a live. I know you can do these in a story, but I just wanted to make it personable and, and have you here and kind of like you were with us and, and you can ask questions, okay? So you don't want to over knead your dough. I told you before, um, the way that we kind of knead it, if you can see this, if you can see this, is you just take a corner, fold it in, push, 
turn. Same thing, you just go around and then it becomes, becomes a really fast thing. Okay, so look, you're done. This doesn't rise, this doesn't do anything. So I'm gonna take my, I like the lives better than the stories. I kinda do too, those stories, they're short. <laughs> it's really hard, it's really hard. Okay, so we always are using this thing. Invest in this, a dough scraper, okay? That we use this for our baguettes, our, um, our French bread, our pizza, our rolls, everything. You've got to have a dough scraper, our pie. This is a kitchen must have if you do not have one. Now your bread, your doesn't, um, these don't need to be super even. If you really want to, you could measure them out on a scale, but you're just kind of going off of your own, okay? Um, what if the house temp is on the cold side? Does that affect the yeast? Um, I don't know if it necessarily affects the yeast, but I know it affects the bread rising of it. Maybe it does the yeast, I know that when you are making breads, the kitchen needs to be warm. So my oven's been going for a minute because I had it on just in case if you guys wanted to do this. So yes, you want to make sure that your kitchen is warm. That's why I say warm surfaces. Um, putting your, when you let this rise, you would be like putting the cloth over it and trying to put it by like a warm surface, like close to the oven, close to, um, yeah, because it, it, if you've got your kitchen freezing cold and it's freezing cold outside, no, your bread, your bread's not going to turn out good. It's not. That's a very, very good question. Do you always make your bread? Um, yes, I, I mean, like my, like my sandwich bread. I mean, no, I buy store bought for my kids sometimes, but yes, most of the time, I will not go to the grocery store to buy a baguette. I think they're disgusting compared to mine. I mean, there's nice there's nice bakeries that sell really yummy bread that I love, but it's like, this is so much easier and faster than buying a baguette down at my local Smith's, you know? So we mostly, yes, make our bread because it's fast, it's easy, and who doesn't die for homemade hot bread with butter and, oh, there's nothing better. There is nothing better. Love the dough scrapers. I know, they're the best. Let me get this pan really fast. It's a major must, you guys, if you don't. Okay, so you wanna spray this with some pan. Needs to be sprayed with pan. Uh, let, me, let me see your other questions really fast. Hold on. I guess this needed to be, okay. What's your other questions? Uh, where do you get the French salt? Okay, so let me show you the bag again. I'm gonna start doing links on our, uh, on our blog. So right now, it, you have to do www.thefoodnanny.com forward slash links and that will take you to where we are starting to um tag i'm starting to tag our favorites on there to get i have the salt i have the hot chocolate maker on there um i'm gonna i'm gonna tag some baguette pans on there today i'm gonna do that so if you go to the foodnary.com forward slash links right now um and i've got the salt I've got the dough bowl because I told you I love my dough bowl in my kitchen right now. It's such a cute thing that I found one on Amazon. I'm trying to give you links, but this is the salt. You can buy this on Amazon and I have the link for you on the website that I just said, or you can go to World Market, both. This is life changing. And the other one, eh, I don't know. I can't find the other one I was talking about. Well, that just solved my bread problem. Oh, good. Oh, good. Good. Yeah, you cannot have a warm, I mean a cold kitchen. Nope. It's going to it's going to ruin it's going to ruin your bread. Yeah. 
Um, where can we get the pan? What is it called? It is called a baguette pan. It's called a baguette pan. And you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna link it. I'm gonna find some for you on Amazon and I'm gonna link it for you. And so look out for the website I told you and I'm gonna tell you. But you can really get them anywhere. I told you a kitchen outlet store. Um, William Sonoma, I'm sure, has them. Sir Latab has them. Uh, Orson Gigi in Utah has them. I mean, you really can get them a lot of places. Yes, thank you for somebody writing that. Thank you. But put thefoodnanny.com slash links. The food nanny. <laughs> Yes, that is that is it, and I it will be easier. But we just started doing it, so we'll have like a link on the page. But um, I'm gonna find one on Amazon that I love, and I'm gonna tell you to buy it. I'm gonna tell you which one I love because I love this one. I'm going to find this one. Uh, Bed Bath and Beyond. Yeah, a lot of places have them. A lot of places have them. Love the links idea. This is the best, and we're lucky to have you and your energy. Oh, thanks, Bobby Joe. You guys are so nice. Okay, so I don't want to go forever. I could take all freaking day. Okay, so you want to just push out your dough. It's kind of like a hot dog, okay? You don't want to do it too much. And look, done, done. Even if you don't get it too pretty, wait till you see. Wait till you see how you cook it. Um... Check the thrift stores too, college students. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I was a college student too. And um, yeah, I, I literally just did it on a cookie sheet. I didn't even buy a baguette pan. But these, these are cheap. At the kitchen outlet store, they were $8. So I'm going to find you a really cheap one because you'll have it forever. It's not like you've got to rebuy. But I really need like five or six in my kitchen. Look how pretty, look how pretty this is. You just push out and you're done. Look, I mean, come on. This is good homemade bread. It's the fastest thing. Okay, oh my gosh. I wasn't prepared to do this. I'm sorry. Where is my knife? Oh my heck. I'm trying to find my long knife that I cut this with. Okay, this is weird. This is weird. I swear since my mom came, she rearranged my kitchen, by the way. <laughs> and I can't, I can't find half of what I'm looking for. This is not the knife I would normally use, but you're just gonna cut down the middles. Make a pretty good cut. Make a pretty good cut. I, you guys, I have been making this bread for real, the people that know me since I was 12 years old, 12 years old, I have been making this bread, probably almost actually 11, 11 years old, I have been doing this bread. So easy, look how pretty, look how amazing. Now you're just gonna take a dish cloth and you're gonna cover it. And like I said, granite is cold. If your kitchen's cold, your granite's cold, put this on a breadboard, put Put it on, put it close to your oven, whatever. You don't want this cold. And this is gonna go fast. And then my only other tip is that you know the bread is done when you put an indent and it stays. And I don't know why it keeps doing that so fast because this is not, this is not done. But this is fast. You can put the, uh, you can put the water at the bottom. I don't do that. Um, you know, whatever. Okay, who is this now? Um, that is a great price. Yeah, I, yeah, it's very cheap. They're very cheap. Uh, these baguettes are so easy, my 12 year old. Yeah, Jenny, yeah, see, I just said that. I just said that. I've been making them since I was 11 and people are always impressed. So that's what I'm trying to show you too. Our Italian bread is just as good. Our beer bread, oh my gosh, that artisan beer bread. You will have, there's nothing better with the strawberry butter. I'm going to show you all of that. I will do that this week. I'm going to start showing you more of our desserts, like I said. Um, the second cookbook has so many good desserts. Oh my gosh. So many good ones. So many good ones. Um, I made the, I made the, uh, you know, the, what did I make the other day? The... 
the bread pudding, the bread pudding. I couldn't even remember what I made. I made the bread pudding. Um, yeah, this I made, it was amazing. I'm gonna show you our strawberry cake. I'm gonna give you all of our tips on the strawberry cake. We have an insane chocolate cake. I mean, for birthdays, I have a guy here that is so obsessed with the strawberry cake, like he now wants it every year for his birthday. My mom came up with that recipe and it's in the new cookbook. The desserts, oh my gosh. Anyways, the, the sandwiches are so yummy in this book too. Um, what temperature do you cook the baguettes? Uh, 450 degrees, 450, it's very hot. They cook very fast, probably 13 to 15 minutes, fast. Um, what's the difference between the Italian bread and the baguettes? So Italian bread is thicker, it's bigger, you know, and those have to rise a couple of times and Italian bread is amazing. I mean, I, I then slice it up after I've cooked it and I'll put butter and garlic all over it and make it like a garlic bread. Baguettes are, um, they're just the skinnier, you know, you can make sandwiches on them. You can make sandwiches on the Italian bread. It's just, they're, they're just totally different. I mean, different shape. Um, they, they don't have that crazy of a different taste, but they do, you know, but they're just totally different. But the baguettes is your key to a bread when you need to make something super fast, but so is the Italian bread. And I'm gonna show that again too. Uh, where did you take your books to have them spiral bound? Yes, I told, uh, you get it at either like Staples or Kinko's or anywhere like that. It's very cheap, like $3, it's super cheap. Um, the Queen of Chocolate Cupcakes are the bomb. Oh, they seriously are. And wait till I show you another cupcake that I basically create, um, sorry, created myself with the strawberry cake. Wait till I show you that one. There's so much to show you guys. This is never going to get boring. This is never going to get boring. Will you make the honey, um, white bread, please? How much water do you use for the yeast and the honey white bread? Sure, we can do that. Yeah, we can show that one one time. The honey white bread, let's see. And then I'll be done, you guys, I'll be done. I've been on here, oh my gosh, 45 minutes. This goes way too, let me see really fast. Where's the honey white bread? You mean just the white bread? Oh, the honey white bread, yeah. Okay, so 228. How much yeast? It's four cups. I haven't made this one in a while, but that makes three loaves of white bread. So it's four cups with two tablespoons of dry yeast. It's very easy, very easy. Um, I believe this is what we use our Navajo tacos for. We use the white bread recipe. Okay, 245. What's 245? Oh, the page? I said the wrong one. 245. I don't know, I'm confused. Was that not the white bread you wanted? Um, what's the name of the yeast again? Oh, it's the All-Star Yeast. This is the best, All-Star Yeast. Buy it like this, it's $4. I literally, I just bought it. It comes like this. It comes like this. And then once you open it, it unhardens and then just put it in a Ziploc baggie. Oh, in the second book? Oh. Is that mom? Who is that? 245. Sorry. Oh, okay. Sorry. Sorry. Um, how much yeast is this? This is two and a half teaspoons of active yeast. We'll show how to do it. This is really good. Sorry, in the new book, sorry. Yes, this is amazing. All the breads are amazing. Every recipe is amazing. Um, they have this yeast at Walmart too. Oh, they do? In this size? Great, great. Oh, hello, Texas. I was born in Texas. I was born in Granbury, Texas, a small town in Texas. Okay, we're done, but look, our soup is totally done. I mean, dinner is totally done. So 
It's done. Like I said, I was gonna show you, but this has gone on too long. But our baguettes are rising, and then they're just gonna cook for like 15 minutes. It's so fast. Rub butter, rub butter all over them when they're done. Anyways, thanks you guys. Have a great rest of your day. I will be back on here tomorrow. Would somebody let me know how many times you really want this? Do you really want to see me every day? Do you want it twice a week? Tomorrow, uh, it's on my phone. I don't remember what I'm making tomorrow. Oh, it's the bow tie pasta with cherry tomatoes in that. So I don't know. Do you want me just to show you the beer bread one time, a, a dessert? Just DM me, let me know. Thanks everybody, you're so nice. Hopefully you learned something again. Okay, have a good day. Bye, thank you.